Hey, El Tigre. I'm at the Crab Rock. Very artistic. Lorenzo's the artist, and we guerrillas are like the crabs. Hard shells? Sharp claws? They fight from the jungle to give birth in the ocean. We fought from the ocean and gave birth to la revolution. See? Si. I got it. Take the footpath up the mountain. Very easy. A guerrilla must be short-footed, like a goat. Goat? I thought we were like a crab. Hello? Finga. Waterfall was so beautiful. Seeing the wall of 67 gave me chills. Binga, you fucking blind? My grandmother told me if you continue past the waterfall, there's a path leading right to the legend. Looks like the waterfall from El Tigre's photo. Need to get up there. El Tigre. I'm at the waterfall picture. It was taken after a bloody battle. Three days of hiding paid off when a platoon of paratroopers landed right in our kill zone. Planning and patience are guerrillas' best friends. Those a handful of grenades. Yeah, I get it. Goats. Fucking show offs. Hiking trail for sweaty touristas. They'd visit our camp, leave their shit everywhere, take photographs of us like we were animals in a zoo. So we might have accidentally lit a few dynamite sticks and might have accidentally. And I might have to accidentally unblock it. Exactly! <laughs>
can really disappear up here. Would make an army blind. How is the air both thick and thin at the same time? Okay, I'm at the next picture. Let me guess. Guerrillas are like sharks. Deadly predators with knives as sharp as teeth. Actually, that rock just looked like a shark. Who's the one dangling underneath it? That's Lucky Mama. We never knew when the Soldado would find our camp. So we had to secure fast ways up and even faster ways down. Lucky always volunteered to be the first to test the lines. Brave. I hear you're brave, too. Clara told me about you. You know, I also grew up without a mama or papa. And you still became a legend. <laughs> Many Garias are orphans, baby Tigre. But it's not our parents who define us. It's our actions. It's like therapy. El Tigre, I'm at the statue. Ah, Lobo. A revolutionary, a warrior, and a dear friend. Killed in combat when we stormed Esperanza in 67. Yesterday was the anniversary of his death. That explains the hangover. Every year I drink two bottles of rum. One for me, and one for Lobo. He never lived to see a free Yara. To be honest, Neither did I. This is the last pick. Felicidades! You're at the top of the world! Now get down here! You're missing all the fun, baby tigre! Blessing. Amen, Oku. my jokes aren't good? How do I put this lightly? The last joke you told me almost made me... Okay. Hello, dear. Hey! I've been kicked in the cojones a thousand times. I haven't felt them since 72. Hey. Never do that again. What? Mi caso su casa, baby tigre. Come on. Me the family. Lucky, my nose is broke again. I'm not your fucking mother. There are people out there who are actually hurt. I am suffering. Ay, easy, mama. Her piece doesn't count. Meet Lorenzo Canseco, poet of the legends. Well, I sense the hot blood of a fighter. 
And of course, you know Lucky Mama, heart of the legends. It's not broken. Really? I felt it go crazy. Merda! Another patient? Hmm. Looks like La Moral to me. I'm Dani Rojas from Libertad. The new fist of the revolution. No, Clara sent me. Libertad needs the legends on our side, heroes to believe in. To fight another Castillo? He's exactly what Yara deserves. Buena suerte. Sorry, one revolution was enough. Looks like Clara was wrong. A faith, Danny. They just need to get to know you. Come see me when you get settled. My baby tigre. <clears throat> The old timers listen to Castillo's propaganda like it's the news. Really? Clara, I've met the legends. El Tigre is the only one on board with Libertad. Do whatever you have to and get them to join this fight. The people need heroes to believe in. I just hope they still want to be heroes. Yeah. I mean, we're calling Castillo a dictator, and he thinks he's 